Okay guys, so my Model 3 is at the service center in Birmingham, getting some work done. So I have a Model S P90D loaner vehicle. Now if you followed the channel for a while, you know I've already tested the 0-60 of this thing and done a speed test. So instead of finding out how fast this thing is, why don't we find out how slow it is? So today we're gonna find out the performance Model S's 0-60 in chill mode and then compare it to the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. Let's just jump right into it. reason that I'm doing this and that is because this time they've restricted the loaner vehicle they've put chill mode locked on it there's a speed limit restriction mode very smart at Tesla so first of all guys as always head down there smash the like button hey pigeons do not want to move out the way of this car two pigeons here let's see they looks like they're sleeping in the road there we go eventually Let's see if we can try and hit 60 likes on this video. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so if you're not subscribed already, please head to the subscribe button and give it a little, a little hit. We're at 500, halfway there, let's go. So this is the P90D Model S. Now, this is a performance Model S, that's what the P stands for, and it will do 0-60 in a recorded time in ludicrous plus mode of around 2.6 to 2.7 seconds so it is quick it is a very very fast car now in the tesla world it is not the fastest car but it is a very fast car last week i did a video in the model 3 how fast is the 0 to 60 in the standard range plus in chill mode and then i received this comment and it was basically asking do we think that all 0-60s in all models across the board, including performance models, are the same? And it's a very interesting question, and luckily, because I've got the Model S today, that is what we're gonna find out. In terms of what I spoke about last time, I would hope that the 0-60s are very similar, because what Tesla have created is, like I said before, it's a mode that's fast enough to overtake anyone, fast enough to pull off at a light, fast enough to merge onto lanes with confidence, but also slow enough for people like my mom who don't like the instant torque, they don't like the speed. In my opinion, all 0 to 60s should kind of be very similar. But that being said, the buyer of a performance model Tesla really is buying it for one thing, or well, not one thing, but they're choosing it over the long range for one reason, and that's the fact that it goes faster. So, if it is a little bit faster, I wouldn't slate Tesla. Now, I'm in the car now. And I think it's slightly faster. I think, if I'm gonna predict now, I'm probably wrong, that it is one second faster not to 60. Let's have a go from a dead stop to a s Yeah, if it, it, it def in my opinion, it feels faster. There could be many reasons for that. I don't think it's substantially faster. We don't, we don't go off feelings. We don't go off feelings. Let's actually go and find out. So I'm heading down to this nice little private road that I like to use, and we're gonna see just how fast it is. My hair looks like this because it's half past five in the morning, and I haven't had time to do my hair this morning. Okay, so first launch. Twenty, thirty, forty. So I would say it's definitely faster. So let's now go over to the Model 3 and test that out. So this is in the Model 3 chill mode. Ah. Here we go. That's six it's definitely faster. It's not. <laughs> 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can tell you it's faster. Now, I'm gonna guess it's two seconds faster. It's not, sorry, this is a voiceover in post-production. It's not faster, Jordan, you idiot. Than the Model 3 Standard Range Plus chill mode. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's head back to the Model 3. They're very similar times, by the way. Very, very similar. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're around six seconds. Six or seven seconds. That wasn't far off. Uh, which actually isn't, it's not far off the standard range plus. So they are actually very similar and on its second inspection, I think you're separating the two of them um, by a, ha a hair width. They're very close. So here we go again. And most of these were done on the same roads. It was a little bit wetter for the Model S, but I think it just felt a lot faster because it's heavy vehicle. And the noise, like I explained, the noise in the Model S is louder, gives you that sense of going fast. You have the mo, you can hear the, <coughs> sorry, you can hear the motors a lot more. But the times are all very similar to the Model 3. Let's go look at the Model 3 again. So here we go in the Model 3. 30, 40, 50, 60. So very similar. Very, very similar. I, if I'm honest, I think they're, they're probably both the same. Um, they're probably limited with the same kind of tech as all of the cars. All of the cars are probably limited with the same tech at Tesla. Thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Three, two, one, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It feels fast. It feels faster. But I think some of that fastness, that feeling of being faster, could be down to the fact that this is a heavier car. One of the factors that makes this feel faster is the noise. This car is a lot louder. The Standard Range Plus and this one in chill mode are not slow in chill mode. They're not slow, they're not fast. You're not gonna get in and go, oh my God, this is so fast. If you added a big engine noise to this, then it would feel fast. If it was going, right, let's have a, bear with me guys, okay. <laughs> I don't know, actually, I just feel silly. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah. I don't even know what I was doing. It's 5 a.m., man, give me a break. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but my point stands. The, the audio in the car, you, can't really, you probably might not be able to hear it that well. It's more, it gives you more of a cue to go, we're going fast, Woo! we're going fast. And I don't know if it's that much faster than the standard range plus. We'll find out, we'll compare it. But my opinion is they've got the standard range plus. I think the standard range plus chill mode feels more pleasant and would appeal to someone like my mum more. Um, could my mum drive this car? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's very similar to the Standard Range Plus's chill mode. And again, it's got a slow ramp. 
It's not slow, but it's got a slow ramp. If you stamp your foot down, it's no way near as instant as the Tesla would normally have you do. Do you know what I mean? So, standard range plus, all the way to performance Model S. Chill mode is pretty much the same. I thought that would be the case. Tesla have designed it this way. It's for the person who doesn't want to drive fast. It's for the person who wants to chill. It shouldn't matter which Tesla you're in. If you are borrowed any Tesla, they should feel kind of similar across the board in terms of speed if you're in chill mode. And Tesla have sort of done that. They're very similar. They're not that much difference. So there you go. There is the answer to your question. Is chill mode the same in the performance model S as a standard range plus? Pretty much. And I guess it's probably the same across all vehicles. In terms of the two differing vehicles, the standard range plus versus the model S performance, those are the two cars that would have the most different chill modes. So the fact that it's this close decided it for me. Tesla are trying to achieve something with chill mode that's across the board. It's not just for standard range plus, it's not just for the performance model, it's for all models. Like I said before, I, I do genuinely think the chill mode is a fantastic idea. Um, not everybody is gonna be, first of all, used to the instant torque in, a, in an electric car. And also, not everybody's gonna want the instant torque in an electric car. Now, if you're into that, you think, why? Why would someone be like that? It's amazing. And yeah, that's how I feel. I think we need to probably share it around a little bit more that chill mode exists. Not for me, uh, not, don't share my video. But if you do make content or you do share any of your experiences as a Tesla owner online, uh, share yourself in chill mode. Share yourself driving slow in the Tesla and, say, and, and let people know that there is a Tesla mode that is comfortable to drive, that you can lock in if you wanted to. It's palatable for everyone. And I think we need to promote that a lot more because I would say people like my mum make up like 20 to 30% of drivers. So we've won the car, the car drivers over, we've won those people over and we want to win people over who just want to buy a clean energy car, just want to help the environment. So anyway, if you want to share the video, share the video with somebody who's a bit scared of driving Teslas because they're too fast. I want to do a massive shout out to Michael, Marcel and Lewis. Those guys have supported me for using the, uh, the link in the description to purchase a Tesla and I couldn't be more grateful. So as always, a salute to you guys. Um, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla after watching this video, you can use the link in the description to get a thousand free supercharging miles. And full disclosure, it also gets me a thousand free supercharging miles uh, and it supports the channel. So thank you so much. If you also want to support the channel in any other way, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really does help and I really do appreciate it. Like I said, we're trying to race to a thousand subscribers. I'm so happy with the support we've got so far, guys. All I wanna do is create content on Teslas and hopefully provide you guys with a service that helps you make a decision as to if you wanna buy a Tesla. As always, you have been wonderful and I will see you in the next one.